what is up we are back hey guys welcome back to another vlogmas so as you can tell by the title we're doing a hair makeover it has been a while i did a video four years ago cutting my bangs and that is the most viewed video on my channel since then i have been thinking about cutting my hair again we're not doing what i did before we're doing more of a longer like side bang i did betty bangs back then and it did take a long time to grow out and I am into straightening my hair again. So I have my hair sectioned out. I do want to cut these pieces and I actually did get my hair cut I think a month ago and my hairdresser did do a bang for me. I went in there with the intention of getting it cut to my lip but we decided on like below the chin, well below bang length. So my hair is curly it's up to here so i will be showing you guys what my hair looks like curly because my hair is quite dirty the hair inspiration for this cut is korean bangs i've been watching a plenty of master kwan's videos and other ones so i've been parting my hair all types of ways to make sure that i have the right amount of hair last time i did i had too much hair so this is it last time i went up and it was like that and these side pieces are going to be a bit longer. If you didn't know, Brad Mondo actually has me in one of his videos and I reacted to it last vlogmas. So I'm using the same scissors that I used last time and I'm first just going to make this little triangle. Now I'm going to do this a different way. Instead of cutting straight across, I'm going to split this into two sections. Now with the scissors, you only want one part to move so like that that's what this little hook is for so the idea is when you pull the hair across your face like so when you bring it back the hair that's closest to the middle will be short and these pieces on the side will be a bit longer First cut is done. Let's see how this looks. Okay, <laughs> one side is longer. I didn't really do it right. All right then. It's a bit too long anyway. I'm gonna do this. I'm going to cut this off, going like an angle from my lip to my eye. Much better. There's hair in my eye. This is great. So this is what's happening. I just need to point cut. Looks pretty good. You just want that kind of shape. I've also seen the technique where you take your thumb and you cut around your thumb, but I didn't want to do that. So now for this, these pieces, bring those, bring these to my chin. Just gonna take these two actually on the sides and just now let's see. You want to make this straight. So coming down, follow that line. You just wanna keep pulling it down and seeing where. It doesn't look right. Okay, <laughs> this looks crazy. So, as you can see, the side looks pretty good. I'm just gonna make that a bit more even. You can tell on this side it drops off a little bit too much. And you want this to be smooth so when it all comes to the side, it looks right. done I just have to style it because um, the ends don't shouldn't look like that I'm going to use a curling wand I know you're supposed to use a roller or a blow dryer or something like that but I know that the hair is just supposed to be styled going upwards so it's basically what I'm going to do 
Oh my god. Okay. These side pieces. I don't think the hop roller thing is going to work for my hair because it's not naturally straight. So. I do not recommend doing this with dirty hair. This just isn't the right thing to do. <laughs> It's coming together, okay. I'm going to do a couple curls in the front part of my hair. I'm gonna do it the way I normally do it, just to show you guys. So this is actually the curling wand also. I have electric tape wrapped around. This thing is so old and I don't need to buy another one because it still works, but the handle is getting a bit sticky. So I like, Curl it and then let it go. And then let it go. And it just twists the hair. And it looks really cute. If my hair wasn't so greasy, I wouldn't be separating like that. Like, oh my god. Yes, and I normally just fluff it out. This is exactly what I was going for. I love it. I mean, if my hair was clean, it would look so much better. This is the moment of truth. I just want to be able to wear my hair up and like have something in my face. I have to style those side pieces. I'm actually going to... This side is superior. <laughs> See, it only comes down to my mouth. But it's not curly. Though. Yeah. <laughs> He's worried about it. What's well, gonna look like when it's curly? Am I zoomed in? I'm not. So yeah, it's gonna be curly today or tomorrow. I think tomorrow. I'm curled tomorrow, so you guys can see. Hey guys, it's the next morning, and as you can see, my hair is curly. And here are my bangs. So I am straightening my hair later on, so there's not really much product in it. There's just the Curlsmith um, Hold Me Softly Styling Balm. I just tried to put a little bit of product in it and this is the result. Not much hold going on, so this is the hair and it's really cute, I love it. I do have kind of a side part, so my hair is um, going this way, so there's a little bit of a gap and compared to the last time that I cut my bangs, um, there's not as much, so I do kind of want more in the front, but I feel like this is fine. I can actually like hide my curls, my bangs really easily if I just incorporate it into the rest of my hair. And this is my hair also like diffused, fluffed out, not a lot of product. If I don't put a lot of product, it comes out really layered and pretty so yeah this is my hair and i'm really happy with it it really adds a different you know dimension to my face these pieces on the side are also quite short when i wear my hair up i look like um i'm from the olden days which is great i love that so that is it for this vlog i hope you guys enjoyed watching me cut my hair um, you'll probably see me in the next like, few days with curly hair, but I'm going to have my hair straight for the next, I think, two days. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye.